Hello everyone, this is Ashwini from Chinta.com. Today we will be doing a very beautiful problem from algebra. In fact, we will be looking into two concepts using this particular problem. The first one is roots of a cubic polynomial. So cubic polynomials are those which start with x cubed, maybe 3x cubed minus 5x cubed or something like that. The highest power of x is 3. Okay. And we will also talk about the sine curve, not the sinusoid curve, not the trigonometric sine curve, but it's the sine curve. It's something different. You basically use that to think about the signs or the positivity or negativity of a polynomial. So we will talk about these two concepts and we will do that using a problem from the ISI BSTAT BMAT entrance. It's a very simple problem. Let me tell you what the problem is. If you have the expression x cubed minus 7x plus 6, when is this expression greater than 0? When is it positive? This is what the question is. It came up in the objective section of the ISI BSTAT BMAT entrance. It's a very simple problem once you know the conceptual details. So, if you are new to this channel, welcome. My name is Ashwini Dashgupta. I'm a faculty at Chinta.com. We have outstanding programs on Mathematical Olympiad, Informatics Olympiad, ISI CMI entrances, student research projects and many more things. Check the link in the description for more detail. Let's get started with this problem and let's analyze this particular expression x cubed minus 7x plus 6. The first thing is you have to find the roots of this expression. We want to know when is this greater than 0. To know that, we will first need to figure out when is it equal to 0. We want to know when is it greater than 0. To know that, we have to figure out when is it equal to 0. I'll show you why in a moment. Okay. So, how do we do that? Well, the first thing we do is we use something called the factor theorem factor theorem what is the factor theorem factor theorem is that if you plug in x equals to some number let's say a in a particular polynomial p of x if you plug in x equals to a and if p a becomes 0 then x minus a is a factor of the polynomial is a factor of the polynomial so you can write p of x as x minus a times something okay so why is this true well we discussed this at length in our math olympiad program at isi cmi entrance program but if you can find a rigorous proof of it please put it in the comment section. The best commenters are given awards at Chinta. You will get books and some optional access to our programs. So give it a try. Make sure you comment. Okay. All right. So why is the factor theorem true? I leave it up to you. Think about it. But we will use it in this particular problem. So we notice that if I plug in x equals to 1, we have 1 cube minus 7 plus 6, which is 0 which immediately tells me x minus 1 is a factor is a factor of this particular expression x minus 1 is a factor of this expression so what we will do is we will divide it by x minus 1 so we can just do long division x minus 1 just polynomial division it should exactly divide x cubed minus 7x plus 6. So the first step is you just multiply by x squared. So you get x cubed minus x squared. So if I bring stuff down, we have x squared plus minus 7x plus 6. Now we should add, well, I should add x. So I have x squared minus 
x oops minus x and if I bring stuff down I will have negative 6x plus 6 so I just have minus 6 so then I'll have negative 6x plus 6 that's it so we have a factorization this is x minus 1 times x square plus x minus 6 okay now we can factor this thing further it's a simple middle term factorization I'm not going to go into the details of it this becomes x minus 1 times x plus 3 times x minus 2 that's completely factorizing the cubic once you have completely factorized a cubic you can easily read the roots of that equation out of that expression from this factorization so what we are going to do is we'll create something called the sine curve not the trigonometric one this is SIGN okay so just draw a line just like we have done and mark the roots this is the number line so mark the roots on this line so the first root is well this is 1 so x equal to 1 is a root x equal to 2 is another root and x equal to minus 3 is another root okay this is so now let's so now that we have marked the roots we can now draw the sine curve how can we do that well first think about this what happens if x is, is in this region that is x is greater than 2 what will happen if x is greater than 2 x minus 2 will be positive x plus 3 will be positive x minus 1 will all three of the factors will be positive so their product will be positive so I can simply draw it like this product will be positive so the entire expression is positive when x is between 1 and 2 x minus 2 is negative this one is positive this one is positive so positive times positive times negative is negative so it will go below the number line negative when when we have negative when it is between negative 3 and 1 we have two negatives and one positive uh, sorry two negatives and one positive so negative times negative will become positive times positive is positive so we have again this and finally you can check that it is like this so when it is smaller than negative 3 all three of the factors will be negative so we have the product as negative so this is the sine curve and it will help us to understand the sign the positivity or the negativity of the entire cubic equation uh, cubic expression so we see that it is positive when x is greater than 2 and it's positive between negative 3 and 1 so when is when x is between negative 3 or 1 or when x is greater than 2 then the cubic expression is positive so this is a very simple problem but we learned a quite a bit, a bit of things we first learned about factor theorem how to use it we talked about factorization of a cubic and then we talked about the sine curve i hope you learned something from here if you like this sort of mathematical videos please consider subscribing and liking our channel i'll see you in the next video until then keep on doing good mathematics bye